Hello and welcome to Open Dialogue. I'm Noel T. Manning II, and today we're going to be talking to a couple of filmmakers connected to the film The Dry, starring Eric Bana. Uh, this film is based on a best-selling book, and it is a mystery. Uh, it's a mystery that's told over the course of two different time periods. We're seeing a crime, and we're trying to figure out, is this crime connected to one from the past? Robert Connolly is the director, and he's an Australian writer and producer as well. And he's going to share some of his thoughts with us right here on Open Dialogue about his work on The Dry. Hi, Robert. Thanks for joining us right here on Open Dialogue. Great to talk to you, Noel. Thanks for taking the time, man. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I love this film. Uh, my wife and I uh, checked it out recently and um, always drawn to films with mystery, uh, drawn to films that have multiple layers, and this one had all that and more. Um, Thank love you. to get some uh, background on the source material and when you first said, yeah, this is something I want to be a part of. Yeah, look, The Dry is the page turner. It's an amazing book. Jane Harper, one of our great authors, I read the book in one night. <laughs> Uh, I was given it to me by my friend, Bruna Papandrea, who's an Australian producer in the US. She's done things like Gone Girl or Big Little Lies. Like she's got a great, you know, when, when Bruna rings and says, I've read a book, you should have a look at it. Um, I'd listen and I read it that night. But, you know, two crimes, past and present, yeah. amazing protagonist in this detective, great ensemble of characters, this world that, uh, you know, incredible part of Australia. You know, they just ticked every box. I have to pinch myself that I got the opportunity to direct it. Yeah, I love the casting. Talk about that, if you would, and uh, bringing this cast together. We've got Genevieve uh, scheduled for an interview as well. Oh, you're talking to Genevieve. Amazing. <laughs> incredible actor. Like, incredible. Um, Eric Banner and I always talk about that big scene in the middle of the film between yes. the two of them, which I was just like, you're watching these two great actors. You know, it's incredible um and uh you know a, a great ensemble of australian actors new talent bb Bettencourt. you know very much these young actors you know stand by me is a film i loved when i was younger and the, the younger cast you know i feel like are giving performances like that but then the older act you know cast like bruce spence is kind of yes. people will recognize from the early mad max films if they know <laughs> yes. them and you know, so you see a few little iconic Australian yeah. actors. And, of course, yeah. Eric Banner. You know, yeah. Eric Banner. I, he, I, I, you know, just yeah. you just get out of the way. He's such a good actor. He's a finely tuned, detailed, nuanced actor. He is subtle and sophisticated in his performance, but muscular and charismatic. And as my wife keeps telling me, he's very handsome as well. <laughs> well, it, you know, the, the cast was pretty de deep as well from a standpoint of, the supporting cast, everybody was really solid. And the uh, landscapes and the cinematography, to me, both of those also provided a supporting cast member as well. When you look at what those particular landscapes and that environment meant to the story. So talk about that and how that was incorporated into telling this story as well. Yeah, look, I think, um... One of the things that Jane Harper's books do really well is they, they use landscape to create a sense of the inner psychology of the character. You know, one of my favourite scenes and challenging to work out how to do, but, you know, is where you have this Aaron Fork, this man in his mid-40s standing in a river of his childhood and it's completely dry, yeah. hasn't seen a drop of water for years and he stands there and he remembers himself as an 18-year-old swimming in that same river. And I think that reflects his psychology as well. It's, it's incredibly cinematic and visual, but it's also about a man who has lost something of the um, optimism and the positivity of his childhood that he's going to try and regain during this film. And so the absence of water speaks kind of more broadly than just the practical lo loss of it, which is huge and is something parts of America are dealing with too and certainly in Australia. So... Um, but Jane Harper does it so well in her work. She speaks about landscape and, and the film transports an audience there. It takes an audience there to see a world that they've never, they've never seen before. Yeah. And for me, uh, dual storytelling is a, a challenge to do and to do well. And I think that 
is with the director, but also making sure that that edit helps to transport the audience into those two different timelines. And the editing on this was spectacular as well. Um, share, if you would, a little bit about that. Yeah. You know, the longest edit of any film I've ever done, six months. Um, very tricky to move yeah. between past and present like that. Very, very tricky. And, um, but fun, you know, yeah. that we all live in a, a world where the past and present are like this. Yes. And, you know, trying to get them to weave together in the film and, um, and that, you know, the joy of that, I think, for an audience to see someone and he's meeting this woman that he, 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 you know, and you think something's happened in the past and then effortlessly the edit just takes you back in the past and you see them as 18 year olds and you yes. can see the chemistry and, yeah. you know, the complexity and then you're back in the present. And, but of course, also there's a crime in the past and a yeah. crime in the present yeah. um, and you're inviting the audience to try and, and work these out. You know, you want the audience to see if they can work these out before, before the detective um, Aaron Falk does. Yeah. Beautiful storytelling. Uh, Robert Connolly, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us right here on Open Dialogue. Oh, lovely to chat to you, Noel. But, um, best wishes and thanks for taking a look at the film, mate. Really appreciate it. Loved it. We loved it. The Dry is available now. I would like to thank Robert so much for taking the time to talk about his work as director uh, in the film The Dry, starring Eric Bana and uh, also Genevieve O'Reilly, who is waiting in the green room. We're going to talk to her in just a second. But she is no stranger uh, to cinema or stage or episodic television. She's been connected to the Star Wars universe, uh, the Matrix uh, films, and she's also been able to walk that line between life and death in a certain series uh, as well. Uh, she will take on roles and every role she takes on, she speaks into the character. Uh, really excited to have her talk a little bit about uh, her work uh, on the dry and what drew her uh, to this film. Genevieve O'Reilly, uh, good to have you. Thanks for having me, Noah. <laughs> so, so tell me, uh, when you look at projects and uh, I've, I've looked at your work um, throughout your, your career and I've followed some of your work. Uh, I, I look at some of the filmmakers you've worked with and, uh, and, uh, and those in, in television, episodic TV as well. What is it that draws you to character and what is it that particularly drew you to the character in The Dry? Uh, well, I think each time it's, um, it's story really. I'm so interested in storytelling. And so when I read um, new scripts, I'm always interested in the, the overarching story, but then the characters within it and how, and you know, sometimes they light something inside you, certainly for me, and I'll just uh, just connect. Um, and certainly with The Dry, I felt that straight away. I hadn't read the book, so I read that in, in Robert's, Rob's um, script, and then I very quickly went and sought the book and read the book, and I was just... Um, I found the story itself so engaging, so compelling, so rich, and and obviously there's a mystery at its heart. So it was a real page turner. Yeah, and, and it is one of those mysteries that continues to change uh, literally around every corner. Uh, there are layers that are pulled back. Uh, I, my wife and I watched this and, and she said, it's like an onion. You know, you, you keep pulling back oh. layers upon layers upon layers and you keep wanting to know what's next, what's next. And I thought the storytelling aspect of it was fascinating, the kind of dual storytelling of looking at uh, the past and the present of these characters. And I mm. love that. Um, so was there a particular scene that spoke to you when you first uh, pitched this, this story? I think, I think there's two things that I, I feel when you speak. Um, it, no, is that the first thing is when I spoke to Rob uh, the very first time, he spoke to me about the landscape and how perhaps one of the most potent characters within the piece was the Australian landscape. And my um, feeling about what about the film is that the landscape itself is both romantic and brutal all at once. 
and Gretchen is so tied to that land because she lives in the town and had chosen to stay in the town and work in the town. She's a single mother. So the scenes that, and she's a farmer, but the scenes that really, really excited me were the kind of trio of scenes that um, happen at Gretchen's farm when Falk comes out. There's a scene where she's shooting rabbits and there's a bit of, she's got a gun and there's a bit of, um, there's such a connection between them. And then it, then it takes a really interesting journey through their history together. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate your time. I wish we had more time uh, to talk and uh, your, your body of work again, looking at things like The Matrix and Star Wars. My son, a big Star Wars fan, as, I, oh. as am I. So oh, great, <laughs> uh, great. And, and also a fan of The Dry. Uh, it is one of those films, as I said, that, that can speak to you on a lot of different levels if you listen. Uh, it's a film that encourages you to listen. And, uh, and thanks for your time. Any final thoughts or comments or thoughts that you want to share about the dry or about anything relating to, to your work? No, I just love that you saw all that in it and that it, it is such an intricately layered piece and I'm, I'm thrilled you got all that from it. So thank you. Genevieve, thank you so much. And I hope you have a marvelous day. Me too. I'd like to thank Robert Connolly and also I'd like to thank Genevieve O'Reilly for taking the time to speak with us today about the film, The Dry, starring O'Reilly and also Eric Bana. And it is being released on May the 21st. If you're looking for a slow burn of a mystery thriller that really does continue to make you think and ask questions, The Dry may be the film for you. For Open Dialogue, I am Noel T. Manning II, and that is a wrap.